Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to start the 2027-2028 season. Um, we are now playing in the Skybet Championship League. So that's the second league of the um, English uh, football yeah, hierarchy. So, lots to tell you, lots to show you. So let's, uh, let's start with... Um, actually, let's start with some club news. So, before I go into transfers and the new team, etc, etc. As you can see, I've played a little bit already of this season. Let's go into club info. And we have a few changes. I'm not sure if I showed you this before. But if you look at affiliates, we were with Man City. Um, we were affiliated to Man City maybe two or three seasons ago. And then we swapped over. I think we swapped over a few times now. Tottenham, I think, was the latest one we had. But we went back to Man City now on a better annual fee. So we're back with Man City now as part as as far as um, um, uh, affiliate as um, senior. Now, as far as facilities, we are playing in the Worcester. Um, sorry, I said that really wrong. Worcester Stadium. There we go. Uh, because our stadium is going through expansion. Finally, I've been going on about this for ages now. Our stadium is going to finally be expanded to 7,818 7, seats. So that's going to happen until the end of the year, which means... Uh, oh, actually, isn't it going to be... It says it's going to be completed in January, so maybe we'll be able to spend the next half of the season in our own stadium. I'm not sure how it works. Anyway, so we are playing at the Six Ways in Worcester. Um... In the meantime, our training facilities is in the process of being updated as well. So that's going to change from adequate to something better than that. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. Nothing else to mention there. But we are playing at six ways. We nearly doubled our season tickets, which was good. So if you look at our finances for this year, uh, we took... We took some grants to expand our stadium, so not all of it was a loan. Part of it was a loan, but not all of it, as you can tell there. Part of it was in um, a loan and an investment. A season tickets, we took over a million. Uh, sorry, that was last season. Uh, this this season, we took uh, over three million um, in season tickets, which is amazing. So. Not only did that our season tickets cost more, but we we I think we doubled the amount of season tickets we have as well. If you look at club info, yeah, we need, got nearly five thousand holders now, so that's good. Uh, and our season tickets, as well as our normal tickets, have gone up as well in average price. Uh, obviously, this TV revenue is going to help us get on top of things. We're getting a quarter of a million every month which is awesome i think that's it as far as finances obviously we because of all the investment we made we are again in the red uh as you can see there we had nearly three million at one point uh but obviously because of all the investment they all went and so on now uh let's talk about transfers so at the end of the season um, we'd gone through, uh, like last season, we went through um, a couple seasons actually where we were relying on loans. So I wanted to make it a goal this year not to rely on loans um, at all. So we managed to do that. So a lot of the transfers this year have been actual transfers rather than loans. So we only have six loans at the moment and one of them, in fact, a few of them, are going back. So let's just go through our development. Okay, so Harry and Jefferson and actually how many of these? Four of these guys are going to go back uh, in the winter. I've already get, have a replacement for Jefferson. We'll talk about that in a minute. But he he's, he already has a replacement in the works. So it's just these other guys. I'm going to try maybe putting in the bin, see if they can join the club. Uh... I don't know if extending the loan will work, but we'll try that too. And um, yeah, so so we we are relying a lot less on loans. We have a normal amount of loans to 
to um, manage, which is nice. And let's look at the squad then. So, a lot of these players are new. So let's have a look at them. The goalkeepers are still the same. So we still have Renato Belluzzi, uh, the Brazilian goalkeeper that joined us a couple of seasons ago from uh, um, Roma. He's a real-life player. And then the other goalkeeper that we have in the squad is Tyler Dickinson, 26-year-old. And he's been with us since the beginning. He's probably one of the few one of the very very few that's been with us since the beginning of the game uh, he managed to survive from the van rama north up to the championship and he's not doing too bad he's he's doing okay actually so he'll probably stick around for a bit longer so tyler dickinson real life player he used to play in real life for well he was on loan really to sutton but um yeah so hopefully he'll be doing nice things in real life um Right, so on the right side of the fence, we still have the two from last year. Uh, so Cole, that joined us last year from Galway, Irish player. And then the other player is also Irish, Ethan Boyle, 30 years old, that joined us last year from uh, Shamrock Rovers. On the left side, we have technically two new players, but only one that's currently in the squad. So we still have Rhys James from last year. We got him last year from Sheffield Wednesday. And then we brought in this um, uh, kid from Colombia. So he's on loan from Junior from, from Colombia for until Christmas. And then after Christmas, we have... Uh, where is he? I put him in the, in the 21s for now. Jensen Jones. So he's going to be bumped up into the senior squad at Christmas and he came to us on a free transfer from Sunderland uh, I think that's where he played originally oh I didn't realize he was with us before oh he has been with us before okay that is really cool I, I don't remember him but apparently he was with us before a couple seasons ago and it looks like he played the majority of the season so now he joined us for free so he's one of those that is back with us again. There are a few people, a few of these players are back with us again. So we will see quite a few of those. But I didn't notice that Jensen Jones was one of those. So there we go. So he's new. Um, in the center of defense, we have quite a few new players. So in the wide center back position, we still have... Uh, I'm in the wrong squad. We still have Sony Aljafredji. He actually wants to leave, which is caused all kinds of animosity between him and his colleagues because um, he says I want to play with better players and, and the, his colleagues were like what to be fair he is one of the better players in the squad anyway Sony has been with us for three seasons now and to join him we have um, got a short term short term loan Harry uh, Redknapp from Bournemouth uh, actually he's in Shamrock now but yeah, he was previously at Bournemouth. So that's for the wide centre back. For the nonsense, non no nonsense centre back, we have two new players. We have Andre Luis, who's a Brazilian. He's with us from Ceará, I think that stands for. Let's have a look. Facilities, Fortaleza. Okay. Anyway, so he's uh, he's on loan with us. I think the whole season. And then uh, Ma Max Ross. Max Ross is on loan from Motherwell, Scotland. So that is good. Um, then on the centre back, central defender role, we also have two new players. We have uh, Max, I'm going to say Dyke, if it could be Dish. I don't know. Max, he's uh, on a free transfer with us from um he came to us from uh northampton and then also on a free transfer owain gordon and he's uh come from call me bay i don't even know how to pronounce that but anyway he's um he must be welsh i guess because owain is that's the welsh spelling i think uh information it says he's british he's english okay He's got the Welsh spelling of the 
the name Owen, Owain. But anyway, okay, so that's the two. Some of these players, like, f for example, Owen isn't terribly good at the moment. He's, he's got good potential, so that's good. So hopefully he'll develop well, but he doesn't. A lot of these players, I think, are going to struggle a lot because compared... To, I'll show you in a minute the squad comparison. It, it is... Uh, yeah. It is a start. It's a good start. Now, Alistair Clifford is one of those that's come back with to, to us on a permanent deal now. He was last year on a loan. But he's on a permanent deal now. So we bought him from Wigan for a half a million. That's our most expensive ever transfer. And then the other player currently injured, Peter Harren, is an Aus Aus Austrian. And we bought him for a small fee from some club in Austria that I cannot pronounce. He played in Hearts before, in Scotland, he played in Rapid. And so on. Yeah, so he's been around a bit, mainly Austria, but also Scotland, now in England. Uh, and then in the center of the midfield, we still have our trusted Ismail. He's going to stick around with us for a while, I think. Um, but we also have um, Herolin Shala. He's from Kosovo. Old player. He's probably going to retire at the end of the season. Uh, just to kind of bulk rate a little bit. Uh, we're not relying on him for anything, but yeah, he's doing okay. Right, so the the next of the the, the next bit of the squad is essentially brand new, um, except for one player, but we'll we'll see in, in a minute. So back with us again is Nathan Lamy. He was with us before. I think he was in the left side of attack before. Now he's in the right side, and he's on a permanent deal. So Nathan is with us on a permanent deal now uh from blackburn and then on the other on the other uh the other player for this role is where is he i can't see him oh riley owen no wait hang on something's gone wrong here da, da, da. oh it's because there's injuries okay sorry nathan is supposed to be on the left R riley's also supposed to be on the left so Riley's joined us on a permanent deal from Brenton, uh, Brentford. And then on the right, the reason Nathan's on the right at the moment is because both players that play on the right are injured. So Alejandro Lorenzo is on a short loan, I think. I can't remember. He's on a loan with us from Huracan in Argentina. Let's look at him again. So yeah, we got him for the season and... Also in that position is another lone Tatenda Milias. Uh, he's a Scottish player, quite good physical attributes from Celtic. And then in attack, originally we had two comebacks, but that changed a little bit. So, uh, Danny Johnson came back on a permanent deal. He was with, he was with us for half a season a couple of years ago. Uh, actually, no, last year, until we got somebody else that I can't remember now. Oh, he left because he, he got pulled. Called, he, he got pulled. His loan got cancelled from his parent club, so also cancelled his loan. Then they ended up sacking him altogether, and he went on a free transfer. Transfer. We tried to get him, but he didn't accept. So he went on the free transfer, and now he's come back to us again. Uh, so he's kind of basically hopping all over the place. Anyway, he's, he's with us, and then initially we got, uh, where is he, Max again, Max Guthrie. Um, but I thought he'd be better to just maybe stay a year in the under-21s. So he was on loan last year, um, and then we bought him for a small fee this year. Um, and I decided to go and find this other striker... Tom Bradshaw for this year, so he's possibly going to retire. But he's got a lot of experience playing in the championship already. He played for Millwall last year and forever, it seems. So, yeah, we got him on a free transfer just to hold us strong this year. And then maybe Max will come up next year. So that's it. So we, we used in total six low knees, although two of those are in the same position, so they can be easily managed. 
Um, and a lot of those are going to go back at Christmas, so we're going to look at changing those around um, at, the, at, at that stage, or maybe potentially getting them on permanent deals at that stage. As far as the um, elite allocations, we only have three at the moment. We've got uh, Jefferson, Harold, Harold Lind, and there was another one. Oh yeah, there we go, Peter Herrin. He's uh, also an elite allocation. So we've got one unused, which is nice. It gives us some scope in case we need to use it going forward. So that's good. So I think the squad is in a good position because a lot of these players are going to carry on for next year. So a lot of these are young. Uh, don't worry about him, he's just filling in. So a lot of these are young, like, uh, there you go, 20 years old and so on. We only have, poten well, potentially four players that might retire. Uh, I don't know if Peter Harrin will, but the other ones probably will retire. Danny and Tom and uh, Harold Lind will probably retire next year. Although Tom probably still has a lot to give. Um, at this level. Uh, yeah, so that gives us a very good foundation for next year. A lot of these players have got great potential and our youth is starting to, you know, develop a bit as well. There are a few players that I've put in the under 21s just as um, kind of like a holding ground. Uh, so George is an example of that. Max is definitely going to come up next year, I think. I don't know about Cam, uh, he might never make it back to the main squad. But yeah, so so we we have we have that. We didn't spend all of our budget anyway, so we, we can dip into the market again uh, come Christmas. So that's good. Um, staff, yeah, we've been trying to keep that up as much as possible um, in terms of finding the best staff. I've been making sure that we've got full allocation of staff. I'm just kind of doing the last few bits for the under 18s at the moment. So that's, I think that's it as far as the transfers, except I still want to show you the comparison. Now this looks grim. Look at this. We are potentially the worst team in... M I don't think any other team will I think we've grabbed a lot of the worst results, the majority of the worst results. So we are pretty bad compared to other teams. If we go by specific positions, there are a few things we're strong in. So we've got a strong finish and some strong movements in attack. Midfield, I don't think we're strong in anything in midfield. It's pretty weak compared to the opposition. The fence is okay. It's lacking a lot of the physical attributes. And then goalkeeping is nothing special. So I think attack, we've got some nice things there. Defense is okay. Midfield and goalkeeper is, is something that we really need to look at going forward. So, but we have a very young um, squad compared to the rest of the league. Um, so that gives us scope to grow. That's good. I don't think we'll do much this season. I mean, it's early in the season to tell. We are mid-table, but it's really early in the season to tell. So if you look at the schedule, we've had one draw, two losses, two wins for the league. We lost in the Carabao Cup second round against Reddin in the penalties. So we are... Uh, I don't think there's been any competition... Uh, yeah, you haven't, you haven't been entered for the FA Cup just yet. Um, and obviously this year, because we are in the championship, we no longer go to the Bristol Street Motors. Um, so we, we're missing out on that. So you have less um, games to worry about, I guess. Which will help us in terms of like injury, ma in, uh, fatigue management and injuries and so on. Which will be good. So just looking forward to the FA Cup, which will be actually uh, after Christmas. So it's ages now until... We, we have another competition to play. It'll be after Christmas. So, right, let's think about getting this match done. So we are gonna play against Ipswich. I've already prepared the squad. So we're gonna go ahead and 
play the match. So it is quite exciting. We are in the position now where we can make a bit more money. We're also in a position where we can spend more money as well, but um, try, trying to attract better players. But I think we'll expand the stadium and that will keep, us, keep ticking us over for a while. We're not selling out. Uh, I think our average attendance at the moment is about 6,000. And our stadium is going to be seven and a bit thousand. So I don't think we'll be in a position to sell out that stadium. Uh, but it will give us another thousand um, attendees or so every week, which will be, I don't know. So each, each ticket is roughly 24. So it's 24,000 uh, pounds extra coming into the, um, into the treasury of the club every time we play a match at home so that's great it'll be nice to have our own our own stadium to fill out as well because at the moment we're, we're obviously having to pay rent to the Worcester facility for the Worcester stadium um yeah Training facilities will be finished shortly as well, I think. So that would be nice, having slightly better training facilities. Which will help our players to, do, to achieve their potential a bit better. Um, that's why I'm trying to keep all of our coaching, uh, you know, as maxed out as possible. Just to give our players the better chance of developing well and having all the support they need not o not overburdening the individual coaches as well so everyone gets a nice fair of attention because i think that affects the development of players if they don't have enough attention at, at training uh, the quality drops All right, so it's a penalty here. Let's see if... Ah, oh, what a shame. Okay. I don't know what the table looks like. I think Ipswich are further up the table than we are. Let's skip this for now, pause it. Big table. Uh, not massively ahead. But I think, in terms of quality, they are ahead because they've been in the league before. So, they're definitely the better team compared to us. We've just been lucky, I think. I you know what, I've really enjoyed playing this version of Football Manager. I think they've, they've got a good balance. They, that some of the things were tweaked in the game and it gives it a better balance than before. It was really, really difficult. If you were starting with a, sh with a small team, uh, a few years ago, like many years ago, it was quite easy to, to bring that team up and go through the leagues. Um, now it's not so easy. It takes a bit of thinking, it takes a bit of work, but it's doable. But I remember a few years ago, it was just impossible like the last two or three editions of the game it's just been completely impossible to bring up teams you had to like i don't know what people did i i i i, I had a really really difficult time bringing them up um yeah but it looks like the balance this year is there again so it takes it takes work it takes sinking but it's doable Although I think I'm doing a lot better. That this save is going a lot better than I thought it could go. So far we've been promoted every single season. This last season is the only time we didn't win the league. So we never actually managed to win League 1. But we won Van Rama North, Van Rama National, League 2, 
we got all those titles in the bag. I think we were in a few cups as well, here and there. Um, yeah. Go back and look at the trophies. Actually, we could do it now. Because I can't remember what the history is with trophies. Uh, how do I look at that? Da, da, da. I can't remember where we see trophies. Competitions. Uh, why can't I remember? His uh, I'm having a real difficult time remembering what you see. Oh, overview. There we go. Overview. So you got League One. But that's not... We didn't win League One. No. That must be from something else. Surely. Yeah, we didn't win it. League Two we won. And so did Van Ram National. Van Ram North. We won the FA Trophy. A Welsh Cup. I don't remember doing that. It was that was not me. Yeah, that one was not me either. The sky bet. Oh, it was in seventy nine. Okay, it actually yeah, it says when you hover it. So it's seventy nine. Okay, so I did League Two, Vanarama, uh, FA Trophy, and Vanarama North. And then all these others are from different times in the career of the club in real life all right so let's get this guy out we got a couple of injuries as well but I'm gonna leave him be I think um, Oh wait, no, I've got him here. We got a larger bench, so the championship has a larger bench. You can fit almost all of your players in the bench now. Which is good. injury. Um, I'm gonna get him on. I think. Right, we've got a couple more substitutions to make. Let's wait a bit. So, I think Max Ross. And we'll wait a few more minutes for the last one. Okay, last sub of the game. And we're going to get Cross back in. So, if you remember, Cross is one of our under 18s. And, um,. Yeah, he's always been around the main team, just because um, he's one of our better under 18s, and often we have to manage loanees in that area, um, so that's one of the ways we do it. Okay, 10 minutes to go. Let's see if we can win this game. It's not easy against the switch.
Oh, another injury. I can do nothing about that now. So let's just get on with it. Alright, so, end of the game. We didn't win this one, but I think we're going to find the season <laughs> difficult. Just um, looking at the comparison of attributes across the club, comparing to the rest of the league, I think we're going to find this, this season quite difficult. But I still have hopes we'll be clear of relegation, so we'll be alright. But I'll catch up with you again in the winter, and um, yeah, we'll see how we're doing by then. Thanks so much for watching until the end. It's been quite a long episode, just to explain a few things. But yeah, thanks so much for watching until the end, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.